In this video, we'll demonstrate how to deploy 7-Zip using Microsoft Intune, targeting managed devices enrolled in Intune. The first step is to download the MSI installer for 7-Zip. Next, log in to the Intune Admin Center and add a Windows app. From the drop-down menu, select Line of Business app. This selection supports various LOB apps, including the MSI format we're using. Click on the Select App Package File link, then browse to the location of the MSI installer file you downloaded earlier. Once the MSI file is selected, the required fields will populate automatically. Fill in additional details like name, description, and publisher for the app. Set the app install context to device context so the app will install for all users. Optionally, upload a logo by selecting an image file. On the assignments page, Decide how to deploy the app. You can deploy it to all users or all devices, but for testing, it's best to deploy to a small group of devices first. Under Required Deployments, the app will be force installed on selected groups or devices. Use the Uninstall Deployment option if you want to remove the app from devices previously managed by Intune. Wait for the app upload to finish. Once the upload is complete, the deployment is active. To verify the deployment status on a device, log into the device and wait for the sync to occur. Alternatively, force a sync manually from Settings or the Company Portal app. After a short wait, the app should be installed successfully. In the Intune portal, monitor the deployment status. You'll see details on how many devices installed the app successfully, how many are still installing, and how many encountered errors. If the app is no longer needed, you can edit the app deployment to remove it automatically from Intune. Edit the assignments. Remove the group of devices or users from the required section and add them to the uninstall section. Alternatively, instead of using the MSI installer, we can deploy the app using Win32 apps type. This method is more complicated, but it gives you more control over the deployment. In addition to supporting extensive management capabilities, Win32 app management in Microsoft Intune provides support for the following capabilities. The first step is creating some folders for Intune package creation. For example, I will create them in the D drive. Before you can add a Win32 app to Microsoft Intune, 
You must prepare the app by using the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool. The tool converts application installation files into the .dot and TuneWin format. Download the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool. Extract the downloaded zip file. And we will get the prep tool, the license, a README, and the release notes. We just need the prep tool. So, let's copy it to the Intune folder that we've created in the previous step. Make sure the file IntuneWinAppUtil.exe is located at the same level as the input and output folders. Now, download the MSI installer of the app. Copy the downloaded installer to the Intune input folder. Then rename it to setup.msi. At this moment, you can see the structure of the Intune folder. All files and folders in the input folder will be compressed into an .intunewin file format. After the conversion, the final Intune package will be saved into the output folder. Next, open PowerShell or Terminal as administrator. Navigate to the Intune folder using the cd command. Now, run the Intune WinAppUtil tool. The tool will guide you to enter the required parameters step by step. Specify the path of the input folder as the source folder. Enter the full path of the setup.msi file. and the path of the output folder for the generated .intunewin file. Press Enter. The application is now doing its magic, creating the .intunewin file for us. Check the output folder to verify that the .intunewin file is there. Finally, Deploy the app using Intune as usual. This time, select the app type as Windows App, Win32, instead of Line of Business App. Browse to the Intune output folder and select the Intune package file that you converted in the previous steps. Enter the required information. In the program page, all settings are configured. You can leave them as default. In the requirements page, specify the requirements that devices must meet before the app is installed, such as the operating system architecture, minimum OS version, disk space, and more. For detection rules, Configure app-specific rules to detect the presence of the app. You can use either a custom detection script or manual detection. In this video, we will use the manual MSI rule type. It uses the MSI product code to detect if the app has been installed.
Software dependencies are applications that must be installed before this application can be installed. When you supersede an application, you can specify which apps will be directly updated or replaced. Assign the app to a group of users or devices. In this page, you can also filter devices for deployment, configure end user notifications and app installation deadline. As you can see, Intune is downloading and installing the app. And the app has been installed successfully. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in next videos.